This is a tutorial on scientific notation. Well, we know that 5 times 10 is 50, and 5 times 100 would be 500, and then 5 times 1,000 is 5,000. What if I decided to rewrite this 10, this 100, and this 1,000? And I started writing them as 10, or 1 times 10 to the first, or 100 would be 10 squared, because 10 times 10 is 100. And then 1,000 would be 10 to the third, 10,000 would be equal to 10 to the fourth, and so on. Well, then I could replace this 10, 100, and 1,000 with 10 to the 1, or 10 to the 2, or 10 to the 3. Well, if that's the case, then I can replace this 5,000 as 5 times 10 to the third. Because I would just replace this 1,000 with a 10 to the third. Well, when we write 5,000 as 5 times 10 to the third, we would call this 5,000 in scientific notation. Scientific notation is useful for when we have very large numbers. It's often easier just to write it as 5 times 10 to some power, or some number, times 10 to some power, than writing this very large number out. So again, the way to write scientific notation is that it's some number times 10 to some power. And this number a has got to be between 1 and 10, and this n is an integer. So if we had 523,000, I could write that as 5.23, because remember our number has to be between 1 and 10, and then we would put a times 10, and then this would be to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th power. So how did I come up with that? Well, 10 to the 5th power is equal to 100,000. And if I take 523,000 and I divide it by 100,000, I get 5.23. But then I just multiply that 100,000 back on as 10 to the fifth. So let's try this again. We have 12,700,000. And I want to write this in scientific notation. Well, again, our A has to be between 1 and 10. So what we're going to end up with is 1.27. And then it's times 10 to some exponent. Now the easiest way to remember, you could divide this by 10 million and figure out what the exponent is for 10 million. Or you can think of this as 12,700,000.0 and then just count the amount of spaces you have to move this decimal to get to 1.27. So this time we'd move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. So 12,700 then would be 1.2 times 10 to the 7th. If we wanted to write 100 billion in scientific notation, it would be 1 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 100 billion is 1 times 10 to the 11th. But well, before I said, the scientific notation is useful when you have very large numbers. Well, here we have that the distance between the Earth and the Sun is about 92,935,700 miles. And the speed of light is 186,000 miles per second. So how long does it take for the light from the Sun to reach Earth? And then we're reminded that distance is equal to rate times time, and remember rate is our speed. So if that's the case, that just means our time, then, is equal to distance divided by our rate, or our speed. And all I did was divide by the rate. So with this, we can find how long it takes for the light to reach the Earth. So we get our time, then, is equal to 92,935,700 divided by 186,000 
And if you plug that into a calculator, you would get 499.65 seconds. Okay, that's no problem. But what if we had taken 92,935,700 and put it in scientific notation? We would rewrite this as 9.29 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th, so times 10 to the 7th power. And then we took 186,000, we put that in scientific notation, that would be 1.86 times 10 to the 2, 3, 4, 5th power. Well then I can solve this time would be equal to 9.29 times 10 to the 7th over 1.86 times 10 to the 5th. And now to solve this, first I would do this in two steps. The first step would be taking 9.29 and dividing by 1.86. Well, 9.29 divided by 1.86 is 4.99. These two numbers are in scientific notation, which means my answer is going to end up in scientific notation. So 9.29 divided by 1.86 is 4.99, but this is times 10, and now we just need to find the power. When you have the same number to a power divided by the same number to a different power, you can just subtract your exponents. So if I have 10 to the 7th and then 10 to the 5th, I could subtract the 7 and the 5 and I would get 10 to the 2. So my time then is 4.99 times 10 to the 2nd in scientific notation. If I take that out of scientific notation, I just move my decimal back two more spaces and I end up with 499, which is what we had before. So the benefit of scientific notation is that if you end up with very long numbers, like 92,935,700, often it's easier to do the math by just converting it to scientific notation because 9.29 divided by 1.86 is easier to deal with than 92,935,700 divided by 186,000. So that completes the tutorial on scientific notation.